Okay. okay. next movie up from 2015 that I had to review was Black Mass. This was directed by Scott Cooper and stars Johnny Depp, Benedict Cumberbatch, Dakota Johnson, uh, Joel Edgerton, Kevin Bacon, Peter Sarsgaard, and a whole list of other people, including Adam Scott uh, from Parks and Rec, which threw me off because well, he's almost like the same character. But anyway... Uh, so this is the true story of Whitey Bulger, um, uh, Jimmy Whitey Bulger, the brother of a state senator and the most infamous violent criminal in the history of South Boston, who became an FBI informant to try to take down a mafia family invading his turf. So I'm going to say up front, the best thing about this film was Johnny Depp's uh, performance as James Whitey Bulger. Uh, he just... He he looks the part. He did a complete transformation. You you can't even distinguish watching the movie that this is Johnny Depp. So he didn't do the over the top zaniness that he's been known to do in a lot of recent movies uh, since Pirates of the Caribbean, which is good. And he had such a level of of darkness to this character. Like he he did a great job with this character. Uh, and and of course Joel Edgerton also did a great job as John Connolly. Really, the whole cast uh, did great, but the thing is, like, for for most of the movie, its its main focus is on John Connolly and James Bulger, which makes perfect sense. But you know, and and then that they did a great job, and you have them where uh, John Connolly works for the FBI, but he's childhood friends with James, so they kind of strike a deal. Uh, if you give me this information and everything and we'll kind of turn a blind eye to what you're doing and so you see like James rise up um, and and really take power over South Boston and you see ultimately the fall of him as well which is cool I, I gotta say the thing about this movie is while the performances are brilliant there's a lot of characters that uh, a lot of actors or actresses are are just there briefly for a few moments not really that significant you know the fact that it is based on a true story does a lot for it and it's very interesting in that in that regard however there's a lot of times where the movie just kind of jumps and uh it, it just has these you know it has these points that it just kind of skips through skips through skips through and the actual taking down of the the mafia family is skimmed over a bit more than what I would have wanted um, there's just parts of the movie that just don't play out to their full potential and there's stuff that's in the movie where I'm like I don't really think it was necessary I get we're looking we're getting a bit of a, a look into what Bulger and what the you know the other uh, people surrounding him what their kind of characters are and what they're willing to do and everything but at a certain point we've got it and so what I need what I wanted out of this movie was for it to focus on the aspect that was drawing me in which is you know how he's kind of turning uh, against this other mafia and and the looking into um, the looking into what's been going on this entire time how the FBI has turned a, a blind eye because you have Corey Stoll come in and he comes in near the end of the movie and it looks like he's going to flip everything on its on its head and it kind of does happen but it's skimmed through how it happens and so it almost feels like the movie could have been longer which is funny saying that because it's a two hour three minute movie so it's by no means short um but i think you you know you have visually it looks it looks good and again the characters are are great the acting overall is great but the focus is only on Johnny Depp and Joel Edgerton's uh, performances. So while the others are great in their parts, they're very small and don't really lend much to the story itself. 
Um, and because the story is kind of jarring, like it kind of jumbles in a way because it just goes uh, point here, skip and go and keep going. And it just kind of, it doesn't seem to have a consistent flow for a story and it doesn't seem to really, uh, pan out at least for me, for what I want. I, I don't mind that none of the people in this movie are really the good guys, uh, per se. There, there's no good character at the beginning for you to latch on to and that's fine I don't I don't personally need that but what I do need is when you're going to start the investigation and everything we're going to have stuff start start to take a turn actually have it play out properly so I think there was a lot of missed opportunity there that being said you know there's some death scenes that were really suspenseful in a way and um, you, you know you really felt it like the acting was just again so good that it really carried the movie. Johnny Depp kind of carried this movie and there are aspects of it that work out pretty well so giving it a rating 1 through 10 I'm going to go and, and I'm actually going to give it a uh, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 it's not the best movie for me There there's definitely very noticeable flaws in it but I think at the same time it was a decent movie and I did enjoy it and I was curious to learn more you know about uh, this person so for that you know it, it did kind of have and Johnny Depp again brilliant so there's there's some going for it it's it's not like it's completely bad and it's not you know as good as I was hoping it would be but it's still a decent movie but anyway guys that is my thought on the matter but what did you guys think go ahead and let me know in the comments below hopefully you enjoyed this vid click that like button share subscribe to my channel and watch my other vids because they need it <laughs> hopefully this one gets some some views here and and we start getting the ball rolling again a little bit not too many views but oh well anyway like i said i'll wrap this up so until next time peace